I can tell where we, we're headed to a good place. You know, uh, I can tell why we're headed to a good place because everybody's not, nobody feels great about how we finished that game right now. I think, you know, last game we were a little more upbeat and bubbly after the game because it was a good win, but we didn't close that game out the right way. We got to continue to do our job and do the small things, especially late in games when teams are making runs. We're not going to be up 20 every night. We're going to be down some nights. And how do we get back in the game is where we have to execute. We can't just start breaking things off, doing our own. That is not how you play basketball. Basketball is a team game, and when it gets tough, when you, when you start to deal with adversity, that's when you have to lock in and execute even more. But at the end of the day, a win is a win. 3-0. and Got to feel good about it. Got Thanksgiving coming up tomorrow. Uh, that we'll give you all the details, you know, come over to my place. Everybody that don't have any plans, everybody's welcome to come. I think we're going to go around 4 o'clock. So come over at 4, enjoy yourselves, enjoy your day off, and we'll get back to work at it on Friday, all right? All right everybody bring it in. Together, one, three. One, two, three. Together. Still got some housekeeping we got to do, too. Still got some housekeeping to do. We're not, we're, we're not nowhere near finished product. Discipline, hard working environment, and that's what we are. All the guys are focused on, you know, doing everything he says. And if you're not in the right spot, he's going to let you know. So there's no, there's no joking around. This is serious. This is professional basketball. This is guys, you know, lives trying to make it to their, you know, lifelong goals. So he's serious about it, and he's trying to help us. So you know, you just got to appreciate that and and be grateful that you have someone that will really tell you when you're wrong and not let you develop bad habits. Over. It's over. With the third pick in the 1995 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Jerry Stackhouse from the University of North Carolina. Yes, 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 yes. Jermaine Jackson gets the screen from Stewart, left wing dish to Peterson, swipe by Stack, he will drive Mo Pete and reverse jam with Peterson trying to reach it and knock it away. He's been great. I mean, he knows the game in and out. He's, that's what he does. I mean, he's in the M NBA for 18 years and, you know, his knowledge and what he, you know, tries to share with us, I take seriously because, you know, I'm trying to get to where he was and, you know, him being my coach and helping me, you know, hands on is, is great for me and I'm enjoying it. Hubie right. Brown, Rick Pitino said, all around talent, tremendous skills, but yet you have not reached your potential. How will your game improve in Philadelphia? Um, I think I, there I have a coach who, who's really going to push me, and I have teammates around me who can have my game tremendously. So I'm just happy to be in this situation. Feeling good, man. Ex excited. You know, I didn't sleep a lot last night, but. Um, you know, I don't really feel nervous or anything. I mean, I was I was a little nervous before the first preseason game, that, kind of that whole day. But I think you know the, the athlete me in me is coming out now, so kind of got a feel of it and just just excited. The guys have been working hard, so hopefully we can uh, you know come out and, and showcase what we've been working on. It's a little different for me now. I mean, where as a player, you can control what happens on the court. Now the thing you can do is just kind of give them. The information and do the teaching and and wish for the best, you know. But uh, it's still that comp that feeling of the competition and what's going on. That's still there. And, uh, and that's why it was a natural progression for me to to, to flow right into coaching from playing. You know, right now my family's in town. You know, they just my my wife and kids just landed. I hadn't seen them in a, in a few weeks, so it's good to get them here and. Uh, you know, they're here for you know, Thanksgiving break, so they'll be here all week. They get a chance to, you know, see three or four games. Um, you know, they haven't even seen, I, I moved to a new place. They haven't even seen the new place. My, my wife came up and saw it, but the kids, they haven't been even been to the place yet. So that's the, 
the life of being in the NBA, you know. What up, bro? Who that? Oh, what up, Oak? What's going on with you, baby? What up, baby? Last couple of nights. Yeah, yeah, you gotta come on and see your boy tonight. You know, we start out tonight. Yeah, at the, uh, yeah, the D League, my D League really? team. Yeah, right yeah. at that Hershey Center. You go to D League? Yeah. Give me, give me, give me information. Okay. Yeah, we were at 7 30 tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still, you know, go over there and see the what it is. I'm gonna head over here, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How long are you in town? I'm in the Monday, man. Oh, you already know what it is. Oh, yeah, 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 they gone. So, yeah, we get. Yeah. Man, it's always good, man. Always good to have the family here. You know, they, I spend a lot of time here by myself on the road or in the hotels and whatnot. So I finally get them, get them here. We, we do the same thing. You know, we do when we're home, eat. We eat all the time. We're, I should be probably, we all should be probably 300 pounds as much as we eat, but we like to work out too, so that, that kind of evens it out a little bit. Coach's office. I'm the coach. Oh, we're excited. I mean, I used to get the same amount of excitement watching him play that I, I feel today. So um, the kids didn't go to school today. We hopped on the plane, and I just thought it was important for us to be here. I think when you look at the D-League, it gives everybody from front office, basketball operations, game day operations, players, coaches, uh, media, PR, it gives everybody an opportunity to see what the D-League has to offer and, and the umbrella of the NBA and what you can expect at that next level because much like the players, everybody working in the D-League wants to get to the NBA level and essentially get their NBA call up, if you will. Just you know, an opportunity for everybody who is, you know, trying to chase that dream of playing in the NBA. This is where you play in that type of system where those teams watch, send guys, and, uh, you know, monitor this league. So if you can, you know, show that you belong there, this is where you do it to make that next step to the NBA. All right, man. It's a, it's a great opportunity to put, put everybody on notice of what we're about. We're a work team. We're a discipline team. You know, same thing we talked about this morning. We're not, let's have, let's compete and come with a laser-like focus on the details. I worry more about the improvement process of who we are, more about the Greensboro winning this game. It's open tonight. I know we're gonna be jacked up, we're gonna run, we're gonna, we're gonna make shots, we're gonna do, but more importantly, let's focus on the details. Being in the right spots, we at the elbows, taking transfer from the board to the game, playing with each other, playing selfless basketball, and, we, and we'll be all right, let's go. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get this one. One, two, three. Together. Let's go, boy. Let's go, bro. How you feeling? What well, we do? Let's go, baby. Come on, Axe. Come on. Be you. Be you tonight. Be you tonight. Let's go. Let's go, bro. During the anthem, you all have to wear the black shirts on the Come on, boy. Come on, niggas. Represent the six. Represent the six. Come on, Will. Come on, Freddie. Do your thing. There's only 450 jobs, man. So for 10 guys out of the D League to come into the NBA, that means 10 guys have to leave. So I think from, from that standpoint, it's, you know, nothing's promised. But I think, like anything, whatever you put into it you know, is what you get out of it. Come on, Benz, be ready. Let's go. Be ready to rock. Well, I think it started, even when he was playing, um, he always kind of gravitated to the young players and tried to help them and mold them and mentor them. And then when he started uh, his youth basketball program, Stackhouse Elite, that was just a gradual progression of, of coaching. And he's, I mean, that's his passion, especially working with the youth. Good, good. No middle. Go push, push. Got sprays over here. There it is. There it is. That was my bad up there. I thought it was how you was right. You right. Just get, be more square up there, okay? Okay. All right. He's very hands-on. Anybody he coaches pretty much automatically becomes family. He's just very hands-on. He's 
so invested in, in what he's doing. Another stop, another stop. See the ball. See the ball. Let's go. Stay up. No middle face. Go. No man ready. Go. Bust. Bust. Get him all up. Niggas, niggas, niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where'd he go, boy? Where'd he go? You got, you got Bruno. Get Bruno and X. Bruno and X. Take a quick one. Fred, you make this pass. Go get Will. Will, you gonna circle here? Look for it right at the rim. If not, Jared's coming right here. You come in and get niggas to the corner. All right? All right, Dad. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Pretty good. Got to win. Held his team to 33% shooting. Not bad. And we got a lot of work to do, don't we, EJ? A lot of work. I mean, just, just improving what we do. That's all it is. Just continue to improve the process for us. You know what I'm saying? Not, we're not going to look for a perfect game, but we want improvement every time out. Every time out. And we still got to get more to doing our thing as opposed to our own thing. You know what I'm saying? The first time we run horns down, Axel, you got to got to slice off. Next time we run it, that's when you can break off the drill. Look at me, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, that's why we're going to communicate all year long. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no looking down when somebody, it's, it's not about criticizing. It's about critiquing and helping you take another step, right? That's how we got to take all, all of this. All thing, all that we want, we want to see you guys get better, see our team get better, and we got to do it one step at a time. Details. Great start, great opening night. Come back, watch some tape tomorrow. You know, get some shots up. Got an early game on Sunday. And let's continue to build. All right? Let's go. Hey, one thing. We file so much. So when we practice, keep that in your mind. Don't yeah. practice them habits, man. We're just hacking each other in practice, too. Good job, y'all. Let's go, man. Together. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. Good job, boy. Has gotten definitely gotten better. I think it, it's hard for some people to see because he doesn't play in the games with the refs, but he has definitely improved. Uh, it's a consistency thing now. You know, he hit the first game down here, he was he wasn't very good, and then last game he had a double double and almost a triple double with block shots. So for him, it's got to be a consistency. He's got to put it together every night and understand that he's a pro and he's in the D League, but he's a pro and he's got to show he's a pro. And I think. Ideally, you know, he, he has a really good year with us this year and continues to get better and grow and, and get stronger. And next year, he, he's playing minutes, like meaningful minutes in the NBA. Once he's rolling, he's going to take it off and throw it back to you. So you can either shoot or pass hey, the ball. But these up. horns, he need to pass to me, right? Yes. So why he, he, he dribble? I don't know. I don't know. He said, set the screen. He said, the strong screen. Emotionally, he's been cool, calm, and collected, and he's kept it even keeled and hasn't really been the Bruno that we've seen in the past where he gets frustrated very easily. You're seeing a different Bruno. Now he's really understanding in the timeouts. I'm, I'm, I'm cognizant of always asking him, do you understand what's going on? Are you understanding? And then I was like, now he get to the board, like, yeah, I'm supposed to do this, and I'm supposed to do that, and I'm supposed to do the other. And that's, that's a positive for me, you know, because that's not only um, him learning the game more, but he's starting to process, you know, what he needs to do, how, you know, taking information off a board or taking information out, you know, out of a huddle into a game. He's getting better, better at that. Just the, the language barrier isn't um, as much of an issue anymore. Well, you don't have it on the first time, easy catch. Yeah, he's right there, right there. Then we got what? You hit the post, what we got? Split game. Good job. He's still here because people believe in him and we see progress and trust the process with him and, and I think he's, he's starting to see that, he's starting to see some positive results. And as soon as those positive results keep coming, it'll be, 
he'll be able to trust it more and more. This is tradition, man. Every time, Thanksgiving, put one on the grill, fry, fry one. Fry two this time since we got a big group coming, but you know, one on the grill and then fry one. Since we look, got a little Caribbean uh, international flair, I put a little jerk on this one. So. I've, I've, I've taught myself a lot, but I just grew up with you know, family who this is what we did at the holidays. Holidays. Family reunions. This is it. Got it on it from my mom, man. My mom was, yeah, she was a cook of all cooks. You know, everybody around our, our city knew her for being a, one of the best cooks in the city. So, how many points do you think you could put up now in the D League? Um, if I played 25 minutes, I could average 12. 13 in the D League right now. I have, I, I would have some big nights, and I have some little nights, you know, where I was probably got four, but I think I was, I still capable of getting some big nights, you know, out there. So these guys know it. Ask them. They know. I, I, I show. I, I, I let them know. I tell them all the time. You won't see anybody like me. <laughs> they hate it. They hate it. They hate it, but we have a lot of fun with it, man. I mean, that's when we start doing our shell defense, they know that's when I get the most excited, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's my time to play a little offense on them, and they're trying to get stops. But um, And they take it seriously. I mean, they, you, you, you watch them, they start talking about, don't let them get nothing. They start talking real trash then, but. All it does is build that competitiveness, and that's I'm hoping that's what I'm hoping to impart to these guys. Just to you know, more so than the X and O's, which is you know, you have to be good at that. You have to understand what other teams are doing. I get that, but more so than any of that, if you compete, compete. Just look at the guy next to you, you know, across from you, and say, I'm gonna beat him tonight. And you have every man think that way. I'm going to beat my man tonight. He's not going to be more focused on the details than me. Man, it's, you know, it's this beautiful thing to watch. And I think these guys are starting to, starting to see it. You know, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't take it as, you know, this, this start. I mean, it's good that we got off to a good start. But I think they understand it's more about the, 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 the big picture of where we could go. You know, man, I mean, I, I don't think so. I don't think there's a big degree of separation between the guy who was a star and these guys. They could just easily, you know, Dick Vitale could have been calling there tonight, hey baby, he's gonna be a PTPer. You know what I'm saying? And you know, somebody said, okay, he's gonna be a PTPer. You know, or it's gonna like have one bad night on ESPN and all of a sudden, you know, some of the scouts or whatnot turn off on you. So that means close. it's that close. I think it's that close. I honestly think it's that close. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I want them to believe it. I want them to really believe that it's, you know, it's that close because it has been that close for, for guys that's not as talented as they are. So you believe it and trust that your work is going to pay off. And I think, I think I mean, it's good. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I believe it. It's been great since the day I first came. Um, I think he's done a great job of putting in a, a culture and and something that can translate, you know, on and off the court, you know, with a with a great group of guys and uh, just a great team chemistry. So that was surprising, you know, to me. 
because the type of environment and the, the nature of the situation it probably could, you know, call for something that wasn't as positive as this situation, but it's been great. You know, discipline and, and, and development. You know, I think every morning we come in, we get our player development in. Um, we come back later on and we get our practice in, and then there's guys coming back and getting shots and, and um, trying to work on their weaknesses um, as much as continuing to build on their strengths that they're really good at. So I think he's just really um, kind of put that and instilled in us from the coaching staff, and we pass that down to the players to make sure that's um, first on the totem pole. Where did it go? Get in there. I think it's great to, you know, for a team bonding, but, you know, they don't have families here. And I think that that's what we want to try to offer for these guys. We know that it's tough on them, you know, in the D League. They're not, you know, not getting NBA salaries, um, but they still love the game of basketball. They're still trying to, to work toward accomplishing their goals. So I think it's good for, you know, them to, to feel that, that we're supporting them and, and, and we're here for them. So I, th I thought it was a, you know, a great day. Everybody right, holding somebody? Heavenly yeah. Father, I just want to thank you for allowing us to see another Thanksgiving. I want to thank you for every family that's represented here today, Lord. Just ask you to continue to bless us as we grow together as a team, as we, as we grow as individuals, Lord. We ask you to bless us food, may it be nourishment for our bodies as well as our souls. For Christ our Redeemer's sake. Amen. 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 All right, baby. Happy Thanksgiving, uh, ladies, everybody. Ladies first. Ladies coming to Break bread. I feel good. I, our team is really deep. We have a lot of guys who, you know, can really play, shoot, pass, drive, athletic guys, you know. So it's fun and it's easy, and we've been winning games so far, and that's the focus of everybody just doing, you know, their role within the team and helping us win games so that everybody gets noticed. It's like, okay, love basketball. No, I really love basketball. I love, you know, everything that I've learned from the game, and now I'm able to teach that, and, and I see guys, you know, start to see what I see, you know, from not being, it's like, again, from, I, was, I was that same player. I was just an athlete. You know, who tried to go and jump over everybody's head, and I was able to do that. But not everybody's able to do that, but you can still find a niche in this thing. So I think from, uh, you know, it's great running your own show, too. I mean, I, I enjoyed, you know, last year, you know, learning on the case. But, I mean, it's a lot different than making suggestions and then making decisions. And I think here I get an opportunity to make decisions. I have other guys making suggestions that I have to weigh. Um, you know, hoping it's the right thing, but it's you know, it's not not a ton of pressure. I mean, only pressure I have to do is making sure that uh, our assignments get the minutes that they're supposed to get when they come down. So I mean, that that, that that's where it's at for me. But other than that, trying to um, continue to learn, continue to grow, and um, uh, you know, represent you know the Raptors organization the, the way I should.